guys, I'm Peter from Bilderberg. How you all doing? The cockpit right now is, as always, uh, one big mess in this rebuilt phase. Nothing has been connected yet. But I've tried to start making a window, uh, a cockpit shell using uh, the Simmerjaps drawing. And you might be able to see the back uh, frame here, the back wall and upper window frame. Then I started making the lower window frame that should go here and there were just too many different angles, too many measurements that I couldn't figure out. So I kind of gave up on that part. Um, partly because uh, I got these two uh, projectors and I've now started my 180 degrees curved screen project, which is pretty cool. I'm just uh, testing things right now. So um, I'm using bed sheets as screen right now. That's why it's a bit wobbly. I've just quickly mounted something to a fabric to, to get something to project the picture on. The frame itself is made out of wood and these sections, the two sections here, are two pieces of wood, they cut each at seven and a half degrees and put together, that's 15 for this one, seven and a half and seven and a half. 15 and 15, that makes 30 degrees for a section and for each 30 degrees I have uh, vertical supports there. So that means from the middle there I have one two, three, then I have 90 degrees to each side. When mounting these, the way I did it, because I have two, uh, is that I, here in the front, uh, put a piece of yellow string and it goes over here to the side. Uh, it's like five centimeters away from the wall so that I have room for this uh, support here. But that yellow line there, and you can see it goes Maybe you're able to see it goes over there as well. Yes, that is what I call the flat screen. That's the areas your projector should be able to fill out. Then you can make, and it forms a V, as you can see. And then you have an opposite V, which goes from the corner of the room and over here to the middle and then back there. And on that line, it's where your projector should be mounted. So then you can use a distance calculator on the uh, online and you can from that cross right there calculate how many centimeters back your projector should be mounted and that is for me right there at least I thought so um, on a normal short throw projector that will beam the top part of the picture in a horizontal matter but because I have ultra short throw they work in a, in a different way with some mirrors which means because they're beaming downwards the picture on a curved screen actually goes like this so it kind of bends down that means i have to I had to pull them back a bit to have the picture going from up there and then bent down here and then back up trial and error and luckily my um i made these two rails here and mounted the projectors onto them but then i had to move them back so uh, i came up with a new idea on how to mount these and it actually works quite good you need one rail here and then in the back here one as well and then uh, the projectors are mounted on pieces of wood, but the, these two going that way are not fastened in any way. I can move them back and forth, which means I can uh, move the projectors around until the picture is perfect. But as nothing is gonna move the projectors later on, uh, they might as well just lay there on top of these two rails. That means I can actually mount them onto a nice wooden ceiling like this, with just one screw there, one there, and two screws down here, four screws in total. My wife likes that, that I've not totally dem demolished the ceiling. What else? I have a piece of wire hanging down here, this yellow piece here. It goes from the middle up here, and where that is mounted, I have the same distance to each side and to the front. So that kind of marks the viewpoint of where my head should be in the cockpit, so that I have here, I have a side view to each side and there's also the middle of the cockpit. That means later on I can move my base around so that the cockpit is perfectly placed in this half circle. So it needs to go forward a bit and then a bit to the side I reckon. So uh, this is my first attempt at a curved screen and um, next up I, in the next video I will try to start prepared and uh, start wrapping the picture see how that goes and hopefully within uh, a few weeks I will be able to have my first flight. I'm Peter from uh, Bilderberg, you guys take care.